Hello guys, this is Pedro Amraofi and you are watching the markets review. During this program we are going to see what is going on uh, with different parts of the market. We are going to start from the uh, fundamental review of the news, of the news background. And then we are going to see what is going on with the stock market, the forex market and as well with the cryptocurrency market. Uh, so don't forget to see this video till the end. Uh, actually, we are going to see what kind of releases we have for today's and what kind of news we have for today. Uh, so what kind of uh, the direction of the price uh, action would actually be during the day for day traders. And uh, we're going to speak about risks which are exist, which actually exist uh, on the market still today today's day. Um, maybe you already heard about uh, that there is a problem uh, which which it called uh, actually Europe energy uh, crisis. Uh, it kind of started when the um, prices on the natural gas started to rise and uh, this problem is ca kind of related to the uh, expensive gas and expensive energy and uh, the price of it which is getting higher and higher and of course for Europe it's really bad because uh, the most um, cheap way of buying the gas for Europe it is actually from Russia but now they cannot do that because of the, some sanctions and uh, here is why this crisis is really bad and Lately, uh, it really caused uh, UK to uh, close uh, its factories. Some of the factories are closing in the United Kingdom because of the higher prices on energy, on uh, gas, on natural gas, and etc. Um, some of analysts uh, telling us that this tendency uh, could really continue till the end of winter so we have to be really careful maybe this crisis could really have some other uh, impacts on the geopolitical way of view of the European leaders or United States leaders and after that and actually uh, simultaneously it could be impact uh, the price movement of the other assets as well. So this factor is really uh, important and it's really um, for today's day and uh, straightly we are going to see what is going on with the oil prices and natural gas prices as well. As you see oil prices are uh, upper than $70. They actually rise till 71 uh, as we said as we said previously uh, that prices after the retesting of $70 they could really get higher and higher and they could really get to 71 and during the time they could really get to 7160 as well and as we see here prices have been already uh, retested $71 and next they retested 7160 or about 72 uh, now prices are kind of getting consolidated around the $72 and uh, what would be next next it would be a maybe a correctional movement but uh, still we have the problem of uh, the energy the energy crisis of Europe uh, I think that maybe this correction would be really short and here we don't have any kind of really uh, great signals of a reversal, of a tendential reversal, reversal or, or the trend reversal. We just don't have it now. On the 15 minutes uh, uh, time frame or even on uh, the 4 hours time frame as well, we don't have such a signal and uh, there is a real potential for oil to get higher and higher and that's what we are talking about about nowadays price movement of oil and uh, I wish that I could find the natural gas prices as well here because um, because the price of natural gases are 
the most um, uh, important uh, indicators of the energy price movement. And uh, because of that, we are going to see what is going on with the gas prices as well. Uh, previously, as we see on the daily chart, uh, that's the uh, movement about, about which we said, about which uh, newspapers nowadays telling, and uh, that's the rise of the price during the crisis, during the energy crisis. Uh, many analysts believe that this movement would really continue, but for today's day, uh, because of this candle's closure, and the next candles uh, opening under the uh, closure of previous daily candle, uh, I cannot really say that movement in the near future could be uh, upward as well. So we could have a real corrective, mm, not really long term, I mean short term uh, reversal or correctional reverse. Uh, and for and to understand till which level this reversal could continue, we have to look through the four hour chart or maybe one hour chart. Uh, as you see here, $4.80 and $5, uh, they are the main uh, range of the support, which price prices could retest in the near future but before prices get near to five dollar or four AT they have to break through five point twenty cents so if prices break in the near future five breakthrough five point twenty cents five dollar twenty cents mm, impulsively if it happened impulsively the next movement could be the reversal upward it means that the return to the uprising trend so if the retest of the nearest local minimum or support uh, happened with an impulse it would be a really good news for, for bulls for buyers uh, 5.20 if it gets retested impulsively if it gets retested not impulsively and with a really little candles uh, and if it gets really retested moderately during the moderate downward movement and after the moderate downward movement, movement or if prices uh, in the future gets really uh, make a pressure downward to 5.20 and they don't test retest it like this so it, it, it would be a sign of the next downward continue of the downward movement so you have to understand that the impulsive retest of a level that's a real important moment if it gets impulsively retested, the next movements have to be reversal, or at least it have to be consolidation, uh, consolid consolidational. Uh, but the continue of the trend, the continuance of the trend, it depends on how uh, prices uh, are making a pressure to a level, how they getting, how the candles are getting moderately uh, closer to the level. But impulsive movements, most of all, they signal the, the next reversal or the consolidation. After each impulse on the market, we have a consolidation or a reversal. Uh, depends on the scale of the time frame. So uh, that was about gas price and energy price and oil prices uh, due to the news which we had. And uh, what kind of news we have uh, next? Uh, FDA tell us tells us that uh, vaccine remains effect effective without boosters because uh, biden was really uh kind of uh, previously he told that the United States president that um we need booster shots and uh now fda is kind of telling that we really don't need booster shots but in the other way israel and uh moderna company they are telling that booster shots are needed they uh, really help the, uh, the effectiveness uh, of the vaccine 
So what to do here? Here's the politic of these companies, of these organs, of these, um, I mean, departments. So FDA is a governmental department, and uh, as you see here, this kind of uh, things, this kind of speeches, this kind of uh, news, uh, help the market to get more uh, get more calm. I mean, uh, this kind of news just uh, remove some of the panic which we have now on the market. And actually, we can see that this panic kind of have been removed previously. And uh, there is an analyze, uh, analysis about uh, the S&P 500 price movement, uh, which could really m make another 6% uh, uprising movement, make another 6% profit. It means that uh, it can really get to 4,700 again. And uh, that's the JP Morgan analysis. Uh, so there is a there is a kind of optimism in the short term which we have on the markets, and uh, to understand this fact, we are going to see what's going on with the S and P five hundred and Dow Jones as well, because we are talking about the calmness or the nervous situation on the stock market uh, with the deposit correlation of it uh, to the gold prices or the com commodity. Prices. So, um, as you see, as you already understood, the news of uh, FDA about that uh, boosters are not the third booster uh, shot booster is not really needed. Uh, it means that markets are getting kind of calm. And uh, here we have a corrective upward movement in S&P 500 and in Dow Jones as well. And as you can guess maybe the price of commodity continue to go down again. So commodities are the uh, risk assets. Yeah, there are risk assets. Dollar is kind of a risk assets as well, but uh, dollars now kind of get more um, affected by inflation moments. Uh, but about the price of about the situation of, on the stock market, we have we have a kind of optimism which really could continue, and the opposite correlation of this optimism uh, with the price of uh, gold and, uh, and silver, which are the commodities, which are the risk uh, assets, which are the hedging assets, is it exists. So, uh, would they go under? As we see the S&P 500 and Dow Jones, there is a potential of the uprising movement, but I think that maybe next movement it would be a upward impulse and then they're gonna go down go down in the short term and maybe after that they're gonna continue the upward movement till the end of the year it means that the till uh, the change of the uh, federal reserve system uh, policy monetary policy so till the end of the year there is a suspicion of the uh, stock market continuance the uprising uh, till 4700 so we have to actually look at it as a really good news but in the short term I think that the S&P 500 and Dojo's they could really make an upward movement upward candle uh, impulsive candle upward the retest of three uh, 35,000 to for Dojo's and the retest of uh, 4500 for the S&P 500 and then after that they're gonna continue the downward movement they're gonna start the downward movement and uh, for gold and for silver as well because we are telling that there is a kind of opposite correlation of the prices of the stock market with the commodities uh, we can actually see here that we have kind of accumulation of the energy uh, which could really cause a downward momentum downward impulse and after that prices could really stop the downward movement so we are here we are uh, waiting for a downward impulse for gold till the next uh, support and after that this the downward movement could really uh, stop uh, about the prices of the silver as well we kind of here waiting for a downward 
uh, impulse. And after that, prices can get higher. They could continue to rise or at least they are going to consolidate if this impulse happens. Uh, we saw the oil market. We have checked the oil market. And um, for you guys, for today, we have some news in the economic calendar. Uh, most of them from the United States, uh, 12, 30, uh, by the Greenwich time, core retail sales, minus uh, initial, in, in, initial job claims uh, plus, uh, Philadelphia Fed Reserve uh, Manufacturing Index, minus uh, retail sales, uh, which is a plus. So we have kind of a really uh, mixed up releases for the United States. I don't know what is going, what would go on uh, with the dollar uh, prices, but the most important um, release, I think, that retail sales, which could be kind of inflation, uh, pro-inflation thing or release. And uh, due to the dollar's uh, index, we, ha we had a real big impulse, upward impulse, which, br which broke the local resistance and now it's kind of retesting uh, level, 90, 92.70, 92.80. After the retest of this range, prices can really get uh, under this range. So if we have the continuance of this momentum, I don't think that it's going to happen. Now we are waiting for reversal for dollar prices. And uh, we have to wait for these releases and then look. The releases for today are really mixed up, so we cannot say anything about them. Uh, very quickly, we are going to look through Euro, which looks uh, really great for bulls for today because we have an impulsive retest, kind of impulsive retest of local minimum. Uh, pound, we have the retest, just a retest, kind of impulsive, but we have the the twice retest of the local minimum. Australian dollar, we have the retest of local minimum. And all of this, the retests of these minimums or the supports, which are local, eh, they are the really good signal of the next upward reversal. So we have to pay attention on this factor as well. And we are going to finish our today's uh, program by uh, looking through the Bitcoin prices and the Ethereum prices as well. Bitcoin prices... As we see, they really stopped the uh, upward movement around 70, uh, 48,000. And Ethereum as well, it stopped the upward movement about, about, about I'm sorry, about uh, 3,600. Uh, Ethereum broke last night the local uh, resistance and the historic kind of historical resistance would it really continue the rise i think that it could continue the rise and it really looks like that ethereum could really continue the rise but about bitcoin i'm not so sure we could really have the uh, momentum the impulse till five uh, till, till fifty thousand we can here have an impulse upward impulse but after that uh, maybe we could see a reversal of the price and uh, next it could be a consolidation of the continuation of the consolidational movement so you have to be uh, we have to keep in mind that we could really have an impulse an upward impulse for bitcoin till 50,000 and for ethereum it really looks way better than yesterday Thank you guys that you watched this video. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on our channel and uh, ring the bell so you would know when the news, when the uh, different type of uh, market reviews will come out on our channel so you could uh, look through it. You could uh, trade by the help of these uh, reviews on our channel. Uh, thanks guys, till the next time, have a good tradings, bye bye.